Welcome everyone, my name is Josh and this is Get Bricked. This weekend marks the start of the playoffs and the end of the regular season for the NHL. And I'm very happy that the Leafs made it in. Go Leafs, go! And uh, let's see if they can make it past the first round now. Come on, we gotta go through our opponents to make it past them. Let's do it. Uh, but today, what better way to celebrate than by taking a look at some building style sets that are made for hockey. Uh, they're actually NHL branded, it looks like. Uh, these are the Oyo Sports line. Uh, we got this locker room set here with an Austin Matthews. But at a recent toy fair or a toy show, uh, we managed to find a few more from this brand. So we got the mascot, we got another Matthews, we got a Marner and a Riley. So let's just jump in and see how these ones look together. We got the boys in blue and white. Here are the Toronto Maple Leafs, at least the ones we were able to find. But these ones were fun to put together, uh, nothing super complicated here. And uh, we got a couple of minifigure builds and a couple of small brick builds. So they were fun to build, uh, nothing super complicated. But I did note something interesting about these minifigures from this series. Uh, if you notice here, they have pretty much all the same kind of look as a regular minifigure. But with the arms, we actually get this little extension piece going from the shoulder to the uh, wrist, which adds a little bit of an extra uh, elbow swivel onto the minifigure. 
And it's only a small change, but it, it adds a lot more uh, flexibility with the character. And then we also have in the legs, they actually start off with just regular hip joints, but they have additional joints here that make it look like they have a knee. Now you have to be careful because the joint can pop out pretty easily if you push it too much and they are pretty stiff in there, at least to, to start for mine. So keep an eye on that just in case you do pick these up because they are a little bit stiff, but they can snap back into place pretty easily. And then uh, we also have a pair of skates that they can each wear. And this one was a lot of fun to put all this stuff together. And I'm excited to kind of show off some of the details. So let's just jump right on into it. First up, we'll take a look at the locker room set on its own. Now, this set looks great together. And you'll notice right away, uh, one of the rare instances of me actually applying the stickers to a set. Normally, I'm not usually one for stickers. But in this case, seeing as how it's themed after the Leafs, I figured why not apply them? Plus, now they all kind of match with uh, the other minifigures we managed to find. But this one's a lot of fun, and the minifigure that you get with these, uh, these little sets, you can actually pull their uh, arms and legs up and have them sit in the chair, like they're relaxing in between periods. I'll maybe put his arms down a little bit. But... You'll notice he fits in there snugly, so he's not going to go anywhere. And this one was fun to build. So let's take a closer look at the pieces of this set, and then we'll move on to the other minifigures as well. The first piece of the locker room set is, of course, the locker itself, the main star of the set, if anything, uh, other than the minifigure itself. But this one is a nice brick build, uh, just with some uh, mainly like two by two by ones and uh, one by ones, a couple of sloped and slanted pieces. And then of course, like I mentioned, we got the stickers in there. And then we have a couple of uh, flat pieces for where you could have the uh, shelving uh, at the, the bottom and the top there with the white shelves. And then a couple of hanging spots on the one side there where you can actually have the stick, uh, the water bottle, and you could probably figure out a way to get his helmet on there as well. Uh, unless you wanna just put the helmet on one of the shelves. So the only downside I have with the locker is the fact that it's, it almost seems like the locker is maybe not the right scale for the minifigure. Like it seems like the minifigure is either too small or the locker is just too big. So a little bit off there, I think, but overall I like the look of the locker, so I wouldn't really want to change it too much. Um, it's just unfortunate they couldn't get it matched to more of the scale of the minifigure. But this one looks great for a nice simple little locker. Next up, we have the TV build. Uh, just a small little build here. Uh, this one with some plates, and then we do get the sticker with the Maple Leafs logo on the front. Now, what's interesting is that it looks like the plates are actually put together with what looks to be an illegal building technique, at least for some Lego purists. Uh, we have the one plate kind of wedged in between the studs of the other plate. So it's interesting that they went that route because there are pieces that do a 90 degree angle change. But I guess it's an interesting use of the pieces. And I mean, it's pretty secure in there. It doesn't seem like it's gonna go anywhere. Next up, we got this bench uh, with a couple of plates and a couple of, uh, a couple of flat plates as well. And then a couple of uh, one by one round white studs for the feet. So nothing super complicated here. And the final build of the locker room set is this brown chair. A nice place for the players to kind of kick their feet up and relax in between periods, especially if they just need to get off their feet for a couple minutes. But this one is just a small little build, a couple of sloped pieces, a couple of plates. But I do like this chair and it does fit in nicely with the rest of the locker room set. And to finish the locker room set and move on to some of the minifigures, we got the one that's included with the locker room set. We got Austin Matthews in his home jersey. And congratulations on a new Leaf record, 60 goals in a season. Now I'm filming this before the season ends, so we'll see if he managed to get a couple more before the season ends and we kick off the playoffs. But moving on to the minifigure itself, uh, the minifigure does have the print wrapping all the way around the torso, as well as a little bit of additional printing on the upper arms and on the helmet as well. And you get the visor that you can tilt down. I think pretty much every player at this point is wearing a visor. Now, interestingly, this one is actually newer than the next ones we're gonna see, but the logo on the jersey is uh, unfortunately not as detailed as you'd want it to be. It's hard to make out the uh, lettering because it's very, very thin and very, very fine because of how small it is. Because I think they were trying to keep the scaling of a jersey that you'd normally see anyways on a player. But they also managed to include a pair of skates that you can actually attach onto the bottom of the feet. They're not attached to the figure itself. They're just an additional piece you can kind of slot in and out. So that's interesting that they managed to include something like that in this small of a build. Now, as we transition from the locker room set into the individual minifigures, we'll take a look at the two Matthews side by side for a comparison. And uh, it's interesting just what a couple of years in between the sets can do to change how they look. 
Now, side by side, you'll notice the color that they used for the blue is slightly different between the two, and the face as well as where you'll see most of the main difference. Uh, the Away jersey one, which is actually the older set, it actually has more of like the classic kind of minifigure style head uh, with the more skin tone. Whereas the one that was included with the locker room set is more of like a kind of a flat, kind of pale kind of, uh, kind of skin tone more so. But a slightly different sizing with the overall face itself. So it kind of makes it uh, highlight some of the features a little bit more. So I do like that look of it. It's just the color's a little bit off for me. So I'm not a huge fan of that. Now, I mentioned before that the figures do have an interesting build with the uh, addition of the arm swivel and the knee as well. But I'm not going to dwell on that too much because all the minifigures are the same design. So they all have that same feature with it. And you can actually interchange the arms from side to side if you want one arm to have a bend versus the other. So a nice little touch there, you just got to remember to change the gloves as well, because they are actually meant for one side for each of them. Now, looking at the individual Matthews in the away jersey, uh, you'll notice right away, same kind of print applied on the torso and on the arms and on the helmet. Uh, we got a couple of logos there on the helmet, and then we got the main logo on the chest. But in the original one, it looks like they actually got a fair amount of detailing, at least with this one, because of it being on the white and having the white printed on top. So it kind of stands out a little bit more. Uh, we got the visor as well, and then the same kind of skates. Uh, I guess these ones were designed first, though, so not much has changed, it looks like, within a couple of years in that regard. But like I mentioned, the, the blue that they go with for this is slightly different uh, versus the one that you got in the, uh, the locker room set. Now, something I didn't touch on because we didn't have him holding his stick is that with the minifigures that were individual, they actually come with a stick and a puck, and the puck can actually be slotted in to be held on the stick. So right here, it looks like Matthews is kind of doing like a little, little trick with the puck, but he's actually got it wedged in there, so it's not going anywhere. Now, each of them comes with this plate that you can kind of wedge the skates into to have them on display. And it has the OEO Sports logo as well as the Leafs logo. And then we have the NHL, the NHLPA, and then what appears to be a DNA string. So I'm assuming that's like a catalog number. Next up, we have number 44, Morgan Riley. And hey, if you're a member of the 44 Club, you know what I mean, and leave a comment down below. Now, he's of course a defenseman, and he's actually been with the Leafs quite a long time but he's one of our favorites for sure. And with him, we get the same kind of print all the way around the torso and on the arms and the head. Uh, we got the visor you can flip down and the skates. So again, nothing too different here. Um, and then again, we get the stick and the puck. And another thing that I didn't actually mention before, but with the, uh, the Matthews and actually with all of the individual ones, we actually get a, a pair of red headphones. Um, I'll show them off here on Riley just so you can kind of see what they look like. But all of the individual ones included this, and I'm not exactly sure why. So that was an interesting additional piece I found in the individual sets. Next up, we got Mitch Marner, number 16, or Mitchie as we like to call him. Now, he's a great player, and I've actually met him in person, and he was great to meet in person. And that was actually a couple of years ago when he was just starting out on the Leafs. But it's great to see how he's changed as a player over the years. And again, he has the same build as the previous ones, nothing different there. Uh, but... I do find it interesting that with these figures and the amount of detailing they have with those extra logos on the helmet, it's just a shame they didn't include the numbers on the side of the arms as well. Just a small little thing there would have added a little bit more detail to the figure overall. But I mean, with how much detail you get in the logo, it's, it's pretty well done. And I like the fact that the logo on this version of the blue jersey, uh, the home jersey, actually has it so you can see it and make it out fully. So that's pretty nice. And last but not least for the minifigures, we got Carlton the Bear. Now, when you see the mascot for your team, you just got to grab it. So I'm happy we picked up this one. And this one did include a helmet and visor, but I chose not to apply it on here right now because I do like the look of just the bear head, making it a little bit different from the other minifigures. And again, this one, we get the uh, print all the way around the torso and on the arms, and uh, we get the print on the face as well. And then he does include a uh, hockey stick and a pair of skates as well. So it's nice that they included that so you can kind of fit in with the other players and maybe even use them for a game. And it's just a shame they didn't include a little bit of additional detail with like a special printed headpiece, more of like a bear kind of snout or something like that. But even without that, it's a really nice look to the figure. And it's nice seeing that with the white pants and uh, matching the rest of the, the team as well. 
So after taking a look at all of these uh, sets from Oyo Sports, I gotta say I'm not too disappointed in it. Uh, the quality of the, the plastic is pretty good. We get uh, decent prints on all of the pieces that have them. Uh, the stickers themselves are nicely detailed. It's just I'm not a huge fan of stickers typically. I would have loved to have seen those be printed pieces instead. But other than that, I'm not too disappointed. And I like the look of these figures, especially when they're all together. So I would definitely recommend getting the Oyo Sports brand if you can happen to find some. Now, they are a couple of years older, so it might be a little bit difficult, but keep your eyes out and maybe you'll be able to find a few of them. So if you're a fan of the Maple Leafs, let me know which one of these minifigures was your favorite or are there any other players you'd love to see in this kind of a style? And maybe we'll keep an eye out and see if we can find some more of them. And I'd be happy to find out if they actually have released more since then, because these are a few years old now. But let me know that in the comments and make sure you guys like and subscribe and get that bell on so you can stay up to date whenever we release new videos. Now, before you guys watch your team head into the playoffs, just be sure to tell everyone that you just got bricked.